Good morning. I'm in the book of Genesis, chapter 50, verse 20. But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. I want people to know that Jesus Christ is almighty living God deity alone, infinitely first, before he becomes our God, Savior, and Creator all alone. If I'm not here to tell you any more further evidence or information about that from the Bible and the Word of God and from my heart to God's heart and God's heart to mine and many around this world from this moment past and all the way to the return of God Jesus, I have nothing else to say if that's what God wants me to say right now and that's it for good. If you want to know more about who He is, live in the Word of who He is as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. Our God, our, our Savior, our Creator all alone. In the Word, it says many times how much He loves His children. He loved them so much that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for the world's sins from now and forever. From the time that we have finished our life on this world, whether it be when we die or just accept Jesus Christ as living God, Savior, and Creator alone in our life, from this moment forward, we have eternity in heaven with God Jesus. I'm not here to say anything more about who I am, and I have said this before. I want people to know personally our relationship with Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, who is so immaculate, so miraculous in his way of being with me all alone, that when I'm with others, I want to just jump out and start shouting and yelling who Jesus Christ is as living God, Savior, and Creator alone for them too. He is here for each and every one of us. He is not here just for me or a few. He is here to be with each and every one of us, very personal. And I want people to know that that personal relationship with God Jesus means that. That personal relationship is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Now that one-on-one -on -one conversation could be you to him or him to you. But either way, if you keep practicing on a daily basis, yes, if you keep practicing praising God, Jesus as God alone with God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, you can be with them more and more and more. And he will simply start giving you words from him alone through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. And you will hear these words in your heart and in your thoughts, and you will know that they are from him. And only the goodness and the truth, and God always tells me when he's talking to me to keep those words up, up, up to the highest level of who he is. Well, that's really high. God is almighty, infinite God. So I'm going to keep those words going up in praise and honor and glory and recognition about who he is as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. And when things change in my life and my thoughts are just basically busy in someplace else, and when he's with me at that moment in time, I pick up my heart and I say, Here, God, search me, know me, and help me to be trusted in the worthiness of who I am as your child your creation, your daughter, your servant. I want my work for you, God Jesus, to be absolutely lifted up to you. And he can give you words of encouragement, words of wisdom, words of healing, words of knowledge, words of prophecy. This has happened to me many times and it's going to continue to happen for me and many on this world right now. Do we understand how these words work <clears throat> from God Jesus to us alone? through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. And yes, I will continue to call him the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. I check my heart constantly and God says to say it, so I say it. He is the holiness of who they all are. The Holy Spirit is now God with us. He is infinite God, always has been infinite God. That means no beginning and no end. And he is infinite God with God Jehovah and God Jesus. And they are one in a community service for, he, for us here on this world right now. And that way of saying it, God is simply saying this. He is here for us to protect us, to keep us from being absolutely trashed in the absolute responsibility of who we are and giving him worship and praise and honor and glory about who he is. And others around us don't want us to do that. They don't want to do it. They don't want to hear about it. And they don't want to hear God's name, not at all anymore. But in that case, right there with those people, that's going to change. Because when they hear us start speaking about God's word and love in our life, they can change if they so choose. But even if they don't, God can touch them. He can raise them up 
to the absolute privilege presence of who he is as living God, creator, savior alone in their life, Jesus. And he will simply say to them gently, you are mine now. Go back, be healed, and know that Jesus Christ is God all alone, period. That's it. No other exists as a living God, creator, savior alone. And in the existence of who they are first as infinite God. I want people to know these things because it's so important that when I have this personal relationship with God, Jesus, it means everything to me. I can hear him say things to me and be absolutely fascinated by it. But then I need to get up and move on with my life. I might be sitting in a chair, driving my car. Things change. I get out. We have conversation with others and Things change because your mind goes a different direction. I might be babysitting, playing, exercising, having fun, grocery shopping, things that disturb my thought process at that moment in time. And God can't reach me enough to help me to hear what he has to say to me at that moment in time. But when I'm finished and my life is quiet and I'm by myself a lot, or even when I'm not, if there's conversation going on, I let God into my heart anyway and say, God, Jesus, is there anything you want me to know from you? Let me hear your words alone from you alone through the holiness of who you all are, the Holy Spirit. And I pray and ask this in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. And he will start to talk to me. I praise him. I worship him. I love him. I in dear I endear in him and I endure in him because he is very dear to me and I want people to know how much he means to me because in his liveliness in my life it's more fun than, pe than people can imagine having God Jesus with you all of the time all of the time 24 7 there is no one else to reach out to but living God Jesus alone in your life if you're having problems spiritually in your faith ask him to increase your faith to give him absolute praise and honor and glory and say thank you God Jesus for helping me to just get through my faith and believing in you as God alone Jesus with God Jehovah and the holiness of who you all are the Holy Spirit as one living infinite God first and then our God my God alone for eternity from this moment forward and say, God, Jesus, release me from this doubt in my life. Release me and help me to know that when I'm with others, I have high self-esteem, endurance, and knowingness that no matter what, that I'm going to get through this whole challenge. And it changes. When you praise God and pray, when you worship Him, when you acknowledge Him, when you call on His name, not just in wanting something from Him, and knowing something or about something, but praising Him and worshiping Him all of the time as much as you can, he will be worthy in your life more so than you can possibly ever imagine. That means this, when he is here with us now, you, all here on this planet, when we seek to worship him, worship him, when we seek to be with him more in absolute praise and honor and glory about who he is all alone as living God, deity all alone, in the presence of who they are all in three, but yet one, still one living God alone, infinitely first, and then our living God alone, creator and savior and redeemer he knows we mean it from our heart and we feel it and i just say to god jesus i want to know more things that you have told me about but at the same time i want to know more about who i am when i'm with you so i can get things right because when i'm with someone and they want to know more about god jesus i'm excited about that i want to keep talking to them about god jesus i want to hear their side of the story what they have faith in what god has done for them and if they're just starting out as a brand new child in Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, then I let them explain who they are, where they came from, and how they came about to meeting Jesus Christ as God and Savior alone. Sometimes they meet, they meet Jesus Christ right there in front of me when I'm praying for them. And when I'm finished, I always pray and ask all things in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. And then I claim it in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. Because I want them to be safe. I want them to be saved because of Jesus Christ in their heart, in their mind, in their thoughts. I want their soul to be with God Jesus forever from that moment forward and then I praise God and pray and we talk for a little bit and then we split up we walk away because we have our own life to live but they move on with Jesus Christ God in their life and their heart grows and their, their mind starts to think more about who Jesus Christ is as living God Savior and Creator alone but first infinite God for all to know and worship and appreciate and to know in the reverenced value and righteousness about who he is as pure holy living God deity alone. That's what's we, what we have to put into our heart and our thinking. That's what we have to know when we're talking to him and about him. God first. He is living God deity alone first. And then think about him as your heavenly father, God and savior, creator all alone. 
because he is the only true living God, Savior, and Creator all alone. There is no other to praise and worship and honor and confess and revere as living God, deity alone. No other. All gods outside of God, Jehovah, God, Jesus, and God, the holiness of who they all are as one living God alone infinitely, and then our God alone, Savior and Creator, are made up by mankind. Don't let that happen to you. Don't listen to it anymore. Just say, no, this is ridiculous. This is garbage. It's pure garbage. Jesus Christ is God alone. He died on the cross for the world's sins. He died for me. He died for you. He died for all from the beginning of Adam and Eve up until the return of God Jesus. And yes, my God Jesus can say it practically any way he wants through whomever he wants. And when he does so through another person around me, he will do it in such a graceful way that he will be absolutely out there more so than me, but not. That means this, that when we are with someone more and more and more, we appreciate who they are and they will grow in the absolute phenomenal way of being who they are as a young man, a young person, woman, a young child growing up and just being with God Jesus more. Now that means this, that when he's with me more and more and more, he appreciates who I am and I appreciate more who he is. So he will be out more and more and more with God Jesus because of the helping manner of way that I am with him and speaking to him and helping him to grow as a young man, a young person of God. Same with people around me, daughter, friends, children. Let them know who Jesus Christ is. Be that example the best you can in God's word. Just be the best you can be. Jesus Christ, God is perfect. That's a tough act to follow. And it was no act, but I just say that because people say that because whew, he's tough to follow. But at the same time, he is gentle. He is patient. He's awesome. And I want to follow him like crazy because I know he can help me to be improved daily. So I always ask him this. Thank you, God, Jesus, for helping me to do my best to give you the rest. And thank you, God, Jesus, for helping me to improve on my best spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and yes, financially. Help us all to help ourselves to be able to improve our life that way too. And the blessings will come eventually, maybe at that same hour, at that same moment. God will give us those needs and desires when he seeks to do that. That's it. It's his will to choose. And when he seeks out anyone down here and gives them something anyway, it's because he so chooses. It's his world. It's his way. It's his will. We are his children, his creation. He is in control of everything. Praise God, Jesus, for that. And pray for our government. And pray for all the governors and the senators and the mayors and representatives and congressmen and these people out there right now spraying themselves all over this place, but not literally asking God Jesus to be with this country, America, and with them to make a better choice about their livelihood with God Jesus personally to be absolutely worshiping God deity alone so that they can go out there in front of people and say a prayer for their state, city, town, because we need help. We have a pandemic we have to get through. And it's early yet. God says it's going to last a little longer. How long? I don't know. But when God says it, he means it. So remember, when we are throwing ourselves away from God, instead of putting ourselves in front of God, praising him, worshiping him, and allowing him to be what he can be in our life, which is not much, but it's everything to help another person say, yes, I need Jesus Christ God too. And please pray for me. So I do, and you can too. Ask them to know Jesus Christ as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. Personally, one-on-one, -on -one, whoever that might be. If there's a rumble going on in your, neighbor, your neighborhood like it's been going on now for the last few weeks, terrorizing people, conglomerating around cities, and speculating in themselves that they can tear up the, the city and those blocks and neighborhoods around them are frightened because there's no police around because people and political holding, as in... A situation where they're just looking at all of these people damaging property, burning down buildings. People are being shot and maimed for life, killed, murdered, just picked out randomly and murdered. If they get in these people's way who are by the hundreds and thousands out there all around the United States, murdering people, molesting and just tearing down people's livelihood of their business by burning it down or just ruining it where they have to have insurance to cover it. Once they get a hold of that business again and that neighborhood is cleaned out, cleared out by the police whom they have not been allowing in to do justice and keep our 
American citizens safe who, by the way, pay taxes and that tax money does pay the income for all of these politicians who say, no, we're not going to send any help to you. No National Guard, no army, no service or anything like that. No police. No, uh, -uh we're not going to do that. We're going to let these people rip down all of these statues, burn them, mark, you know, mark them up and destroy them. And they don't even know what it's about. It was just about someone they think that might be bad or have been bad. They just rip it down and tear it down. Well, our president right now, praise God, Jesus, President Trump is trying to do something about that. So he's putting some laws into place. And God said he's going to expand those laws even larger with a hefty fine and some jail time for all of these people who have been rampaging around America now way too long, several weeks, and causing people damage in their life, literally, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotion emotionally, and financially. They've ruined some people's lives that way. They can come back. They will come back even better than before. That's for my God, Jesus, who cares about each and every one of us. Don't let this happen in your neighborhood. Come together with each other in a neighborhood, in a Bible study, or all by yourself. Stand there in your home. Sit in your car when you're driving down the road. Get some privacy and say, thank you, God, Jesus, for keeping our home safe from all of that garbage and rampaging and terrorist attack within America from Americans and whomever who might come in illegally across the border. I pray that we will be safe from these people who want to rampage, burn, destroy, and hate for nothing. For what reason are they hating? Literally, they have that kind of hate and anger going on for weeks and weeks for an eternity in life of their life living down here, which is not very long, but in an eternal way that they say, I don't care. I'm just going to live it moment by moment and continue this. To them, that's like a favor meant in their heart that they just want to be angry. And so they have more anger that comes because they're just feeding the fire all of the time. To me, that's an eternal blaze going on with them that something happened in their past or they just enjoy being mean and evil and disregarding and disrespectful for people around them. Don't let them do that. Praise God and pray. Ask him to help you to be safe in your neighborhood, in the streets of your city, town, state, and pray and ask that the governor, sen uh, senator, mayor, congressman, representatives, all of these people in office can do something. They can present something to the next level up in office position. Let them do that within their own heart, but you have to pray for them. Get together with them if you can as a group of people signing papers and just offer it offering that to the mayor and saying, listen, we're going to stand against this obnoxiousness of um, raising up of people being prisoners in their own home because we're afraid to go out in our own neighborhood because we're afraid we're going to be attacked and no one will come to help us because you people have defunded the police department. How dumb is that? A very few, minute few, have broken the law. They have been caught. They will be caught from this moment forward. There will be rules and regulations formatted in a format that God, Jesus says, he will protect in this way of mankind's thinking right now that they will be endorsed on these people who have been caught doing it as in police officers, something wrong. If they do, I pray they will be caught, that it has to be proven in a court system processing them through this legal way of them being accountable accountable for being guilty or not and let them you know experience those consequences if they are guilty if they are not i pray they will be found innocent and let that be the end of it because god jesus says he has control of everything let all of the rest of the police officers who are great people men and women know jesus christ as living god's savior and creator alone, and let them i pray god jesus be so protected from the laws of mankind that they will come back in droves more police officers, more people in their hearts about Jesus Christ as God alone, more people accepting the fact that they have a responsibility to keep everybody safe. That means the perpetrator who is out there doing something wrong, whatever level of crime that is, it is their responsibility, God Jesus, to keep people safe until they go into the system and are prosecuted and things are processed legally, through a lawyer, judge, a court system. I pray they will make sure people are safe within their own hands, even though there's eruption of fighting and scuffling. I pray that people will come out more alive and not injured fat fatally at all. I pray that it will, be it will be calming down more, that the fights in the streets will simply be calming down from this moment forward, that police officers will be allowed back into the cities 
and the towns and states and be paid for what they are doing because they deserve it much more than before. God said he's not going to let anyone defund his police department or fires, firemen's departments or anything like that. But instead, they're all going to get refunded and more. Praise God, Jesus. I pray and ask these things in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. And I claim that in Jesus Christ, God's name alone, that all of them will be absolutely protected if they are fatally hurt in a service that their families will be provided for. I pray that that will happen less and less and less. Not at all. But if it happens, I pray God will be with each and every one of them. All people who are out there in a work service for our country, America, let them stand protected in their own heart and mind that if something happened to them, that their family can be protected through insurance, life insurance, and an insurance from God Almighty that money will come in to help them to make it through their life on this world. I pray that things will calm down, that police officers, firemen, and people in service positions in the army and those areas there will be safer with God Jesus in their life and then praying and asking God to keep them safe and to be a, a warring citizen against this crime going on and that all of us can come together in the immediate attention about who Jesus Christ is as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. Don't let this value system in mankind's way of thinking and in their heart right now, which is separated from their mind and they're not allowing God Jesus in, don't let them allow you to become downfalling in your own heart and mind and thinking about who you are as a police officer right now. I pray and ask in the name of blood of Jesus Christ that no matter what, whoever you are, whether or not you hear me speak here or someplace else, whether or not you're here uh, in this world someplace and you're not going to church or you're not reading the Bible, I pray you will all be safe spiritually in your heart and mind and spirit through the holiness of who they all are the Holy Spirit, knowing that Jesus Christ is your God, Savior, and Creator alone. Remember, our world here right now is in a mesmerizing remaining moment, what happens to be the end time of this world. Be remaining in your life, however long that is, and I pray it's a long one. Be with God, Jesus, and remember in this scripture, God, Jesus, is with all of us in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. But as, you, as for you... You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. That's God's word and promise to say this. I am here with you now until the end of time. And let that be the grace of God, knowing in your heart and your mind and your thinking through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit be with you all this day and all this time forward in your life. Again, I pray it's a long one. I pray and ask all of these things in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. God bless. Have a great day.